Hi guys, we are here this morning at Fort Wilderness for a first for me. We are going to go to Trails End for breakfast. It is reopening today, July 17th, and we're here to check it out. So come along and let's go have some fun. So one of the things about Trails End, if you're driving here, is that you actually have to take a bus from the parking area back to the settlement. So make sure you add on about 10 minutes to your time. Depending, that's about how long it took us to get back here on the bus. But if you miss a bus, you know how Disney transportation is. You, you can't really judge anything based on it. All right, so first out is the oven fresh pastry basket, which is mini muffins, whole grain and butter croissants, and sticky buns. And this is the berry granola yogurt parfait. It is a lot of fruit piled on top of there. But unlike at the other all you care to enjoy family style breakfast, there is no separate fruit tray. So the parfait and the fruit come out as one. And this is the plant-based lemon blueberry trifle that Steffi got because she's not a huge fan of yogurt. It actually looks really cute and really good. The pastries also come with a strawberry honey butter. I do definitely recommend the sticky buns, which are the best pastry they have here. And then on the skillet we have eggs, sausage, bacon, smoked brisket and eggs, Mickey waffles, and a cheesy potato casserole, which is honestly the reason why we came here. So you can order more of the things that you enjoy. We got more of the cheesy potato casserole and sausages. So I was not a fan of the brisket eggs that came in the skillet. So I asked and they were able to get me some just plain scrambled eggs. All right, so we just finished at Trails End. So pricing wise, it was $20 for adults, $12 for kids, which is Probably the best breakfast all you care to enjoy deal you're going to find on property. However, um, it is a way to get back here. So it did take an extra 10 minutes from the time we parked to get back to the settlement, which is where Trails End actually is. Um, as for the breakfast itself, the sticky bun was really good. I definitely recommend the trifle over the parfait. The trifle was so good, like that was one of my favorite parts of the meal. There's really nothing that would draw me to come back here again for breakfast. I mean, you can go to Cape May for $25, be right by Epcot, and get basically the same food. The overall feel of it just... I don't know if you're staying here at Fort Wilderness I definitely recommend checking that out because it is as I said it is a really good deal but if you're staying anywhere else um, there's other options that I would recommend before saying to come to this so we are coming here tomorrow night for dinner so I'm gonna do dinner right after this on the same video so see you then so down here is the main road where you turn in to get in you park here at the outpost then you take a bus all the way back here to the settlement which is also where you can get the boat to Magic Kingdom but this place is huge I mean it's huge alright guys it is the next day it is Sunday and we are back at Trails End this time we're trying dinner and we're gonna take you along show you all the food and tell you what we think of it as we go so come along let's go have some fun so the first course already came out. It is the oven fresh bread. There is a goat cheese and chive biscuit. There's hush puppies in there and there's skillet cornbread. There's also a pimento spread, which she said is a little spicy and honey butter. So here's the chopped salad. It is mixed greens, grape tomatoes, red onions, cucumbers, white cheddar, and cornbread croutons with a warm bacon vinaigrette. And here is a closer look at those hush puppies and we did already get more cornbread because it's really good. 
So this is the smokehouse skillet. It comes with pecan smoked brisket, the rotisserie chicken and dewy sausage, fingerling potatoes, green beans, buttered corn on the cob, and it also comes with a chipotle barbecue and a Carolina mustard barbecue sauce, which is right here. As a heads up, if you do not like dark meat, you are able to ask for white, but it is on a basis of availability, so they can't promise it, but we were able to get a piece of white meat. And this is the covered wagon sundae. It is a wagon load of ice cream, toppings, brownies, cookies, and of course, chocolate covered bacon. It is a smaller portion. I think the bigger one is obviously for when you have like three or four people. Alrighty, so we have finished dinner here at Trails, and it was really good. Um, it is something I would recommend going out of your way for, especially if you like barbecue. The brisket was probably my favorite part. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the chicken, and the andouille sausage is just something I'm not a fan of to begin with. So, um, it was really good though. The service was amazing. We had a great waitress. Um, the Sunday was a little disappointing, but I think that we had talked ourselves up and we saw everybody get the big one, that when the little one came out we were a little disappointed. But it makes sense because there were only two of us and we still couldn't finish that. So pricing wise it is $30 per adult and $18 per child, which is actually probably one of the better dinner deals that you're going to get in Disney. I think the only one that it might be cheaper is Sebastian's, but I'm not 100% sure, but I would definitely recommend this over there. Um, so thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. I do dining reviews and I go around Disney and Universal trying all sorts of new things and sharing it with you guys. So thank you so much again and always remember to soar over the magic. See you guys.